Hello, Mrs. Walker here again. I'm going to talk to you now about how you can support your child when reading together at home. I think the most important thing is to find a quiet space and a calm time that works with you both, for both of you. And it's always tricky, I guess, in a busy household to try and find that. But it's so important that it's a time when you're both ready and calm and the child's not too tired. A good time to read and share together. Book talk is just as important as reading, talking about books, what we like about books, selecting books together. Really important to have that conversation to really foster that enjoyment and pleasure in reading. So initially when picking a book, thinking about looking at the front cover, talking about what it might be about, reading the blurb to find out a little bit more before starting to read. So some top tips so that both the parent and the child feels calm and we're not feeling like a little emoji up there. Taking turns to read aloud can really take the pressure off the child as well if we don't feel too, too confident. And you can also model using different voices and how the punctuation can be used to read. Talking about the pictures and using the picture clues to help with unknown words discussing what you can see and getting those clues from that support the text is another good tip. Help your child to use the phonics to decode words that they don't know. Thinking about the letter signs they know and the phonemes and putting that together to decode the words and then rereading the words and the whole sentence together to check that that's the right word for that sentence. Sometimes if it's too much and if it's a longer book, not to put too much pressure on, don't read the whole book in one go. Perhaps read a few pages or half the book and come back to it another time. Always give lots of praise as you're reading together, praising the child in the discussion, if they get to spot something in the book, if they read something correctly, something perhaps that they found tricky before. Rereading books builds fluency as you, your child, the child doesn't have to stop to decode. So in school we reread our books often. With our guided reading books we actually reread them four times in the week. So rereading a, a book that the child has worked on and read with you to give them that confidence and build the fluency as they're reading. Discussing the story and the character develops their comprehension skills. So they're not just reading, but they're really thinking about what they're reading and showing their understanding of what they're reading too. So hopefully with some of those tips, we will all be feeling a little bit better about reading at home with our children. So I thought I'd just go through some questions that are useful to think about. And I've split it into different stages. So when selecting a book, asking questions like, why did you want to read this book? Do you like the book cover? What is it that's attracted you to it? What do you like about it? Thinking about the authors, is it a familiar author that the child knows? Is the author always uh, also the illustrator of this book or is there a different illustrator? And just having that conversation just by looking at the front cover about perhaps what this what could this book be about? What might it be about that we want to read to together? And then looking a bit more depth in at the title of the book finding the author and illustrator's names and talking about what their jobs are as the author and illustrator. Um, looking at the picture clues, so what might that be, the story be about? And then looking at the blurb on the back gives us a little bit more information about what the story might be about. Could it be an exciting story, a sad, happy story or whatever? And then while reading the book, going through, maybe pausing after a few pages, what's happened so far, discussing what might happen next, looking at the pictures, often stories and picture books and, and picture books that young children read, there's a lot in the pictures that supports the story and even tells some of the story. Thinking about favourite characters, talking about why, how would they describe the characters and how would the child feel if that happens to them, what's happening to the character. And then thinking about the book, after the reading, so to check that comprehension and understanding. What happened at the beginning? What happened next? What happened at the end? At what point did we realise this was going to happen or that was going to happen to the character? So that book talk, that conversation, checking and understanding and comprehension for the child, but also just talking about the enjoyment of reading the story is really key as well. 
And then afterwards, did they enjoy the story? Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Why or why not? Was it similar to other stories that we, we read together? What parts did they like or dislike the most? What parts did you like or dislike the most? Was it a funny story? Did parts make, make them laugh and why? What were the favourite bits and why? And perhaps would they like to explore other books by this author? And then relating it to their own experience, did the story remind them of anything that's happened to them? So I think it's key to give children a range of books and texts to look at. So fiction books, telling stories, poetry books, comics and magazines, non-fiction books. In fact, anything that you can share and read together. It doesn't have to be a book from school at all. It could be anything from home that we enjoy reading. And this quote from Dr. Seuss, I think, just sums it all up. The more you read, the more things you know. The more that you learn, the more places you go. And don't we want our children to explore a world of books, a world of adventure and excitement and information that they can enjoy? Thank you so much for listening. I hope that's given you a few tips. Don't hesitate to email the school if you've got any other questions or you want a little bit more support. But please enjoy reading with your children at home. Thank you.